Do you remember any application called Disk Usage? It is one of the oldest storage analyzing applications that used to be very popular back in 2015. And if you look it up on Google Play Store right now, the last update is in 2017. But somehow this application got revived and it is back again. But this time it is available on F-Drive. Looking at the application interface brings back so much nostalgia. And regarding the functionality, it is the same like it used to be. If you are hearing about this application for the first time, Disk Usage will give you a detailed storage information of each application present on your phone. It will show you how much data or cache any application is consuming. That will make the management super easy. If you are using Solid Explorer as your main file manager, then it will further enhance the file management experience on your phone. I recently came across another excellent open source application called OSS Document Scanner. Now, if you are using a Xiaomi device, you know that the scanner application is not that much trustworthy. So even I was looking for a replacement, I found that OSS Document Scanner is the perfect one. This application will definitely enhance your overall experience. And you also don't need to worry about privacy here because it is completely open source. I also found that the interface is much simpler, so you're not going to face any issues while using it. After scanning the documents or images, you can import them as PDF files or even get the text from any document. And more importantly, there's a multilingual support for text detection. You know that operating multiple online or offline accounts makes it very hard to remember passwords. And there are so many password managing applications available out there. But if you are looking for an open source and a completely offline password manager, I would recommend an application called OneKeyPass that offers a secret platform to save your sensitive information. This application stores all your passwords in a single encrypted file that can be stored locally or using any cloud-based platform. Apart from providing all these features, it also offers a recycle bin to recover any deleted information. And you also get a password generator that can be really helpful to generate some strong passwords. If you're not happy with the default browser that comes with your phone, which is mostly Google Chrome, and you're looking for an alternative, I would recommend an excellent open source browser called Chromite. I would not go deep into all the details of this browser or where this browser is coming from, but to give you a quick idea, Chromite is a Chromium browser that has inbuilt ad blocking feature and offers more privacy. I am using this browser for a very long time because of the excellent ad blocking features, where you get legacy ad block and ad block plus that really helps in smooth browsing by removing advertisements. Right now, I am using a website called APK Mirror which shows advertisements while browsing through Google Chrome, but there are no advertisements on Chromite. You also get a ton of additional features when compared to Google Chrome that are mostly related to privacy. While the size of this browser might be an issue because it is quite large, but it should work ok on most Android devices. I know that most of us are addicted to social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube or Facebook. And whenever we unlock our phone, we straight away start watching Instagram Reels or YouTube Shorts and we end up spending a lot of time watching all that stuff. If you want to manage this social media addiction, I would highly recommend an application called Unlock Master, which has become one of my favorite applications recently. It does nothing flashy, but it shows how many times you unlock your phone. And to be frank, I was quite shocked to see how many times I unlock my own device. And sometimes that guilt might help in reducing the social media usage. You simply download Unlock Master, give all the necessary permissions and set the unlock limit. Then you will see the statistics every day. But please remember to remove all the battery restrictions and enable auto start, then you should be good to go. Now it is time to share the bonus application with you. And after some research, I finally selected Smart Spacer. But a small disclaimer here, I am currently in the process of understanding this application better because I did not get time to explore everything. It's a bit complex. but the application looks very promising. Smart Spacer is a customizable widget for Android that works differently and upgrades the built-in at-a-glance widget. It is compatible with any launcher that shows at-a-glance content. However, some functions will require Shizuku to work properly. There are different targets, complications and inbuilt plugins that can help make it more functional. If you are using Launcher Launcher or Nova Launcher, you should be able to replace your Google feed with Smart Spacer. But it does get laggy sometimes, so please make sure to keep an eye on permissions like background restrictions and auto start. I will also share a link to an article article in the video description that is going to be very helpful in understanding this application better. And that was the video guys. Please let me know your favorite application from today's list. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.